Hello and welcome to the Oxford Wine Company, the Tail Street Cellar. Today we're going to explore the concept of blind wine tasting. Ah yes, <laughs> ah, with blind wine tasting, a quintessential part in the wine trade. It's a really good exercise to get to know a wine from an outsider's perspective and not have an opinionised view on it. Yeah. So many of your um, unconscious preconceptions can really get in the way when analysing wine. For example, how much it costs, what the label is, where it's from. Just, or even the screw cap. Yeah, screw caps can, and, and the shape of the bottle. It, it all plays that way, a part in your, in your brain and it can make you sort of prejudge a wine before you've even tried it. So today, me and Tom are trying a wine that we've never seen before in our lives. So, first of all, we, uh, we're we going to take a look at the colour. Uh, as you can quite clearly see, it is white and uh, not red. White wine! <laughs> from the white wine region of the world. Okay. You can see from looking at this white wine, it is got a little bit of goldness to it. I'd say it's a, a pale to medium gold white wine. That can give a few, a few little clues. Mm -hmm. White wine does tend to get a darker colour with age, so it could be a, an aged white wine. Or it could be a warmer climate white wine. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Riper grapes and all. Maybe um, a little. Could be, could be oxidised as well. Could be an oak aged. Well, well, there you go. So there's so there already so many clues just from looking at it. <laughs> and uh, next up is the smelling, the aroma, the nose. The nasals. And already I can sort of get a, a, a whiff of some sort of thing. You're going to smell it before you swill it, just mm. to get those primary flavours coming yeah, out. Yeah, just so you know how intense the wine really is. Mm. If you can smell it a good two inches away from the glass without even swilling or introducing any more oxygen to it, you know there's some pronouncedness there. Yes, which would often include quality. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Let's give it a swill. Mm. Mm. I guess some really interesting aromas really from that wine. Interesting. It's almost like I'm getting some primary aromas, which are aromas that directly derive from the grape. Yep. And also a little bit of secondary aromas in there too. Maybe a little bit of oakiness, maybe a bit of batonage up and down. I always detect batonage because it smells a bit like bacon fat. Frazzle. Okay, well we'll give it a taste, see what we think. Analyse on the palate. So, from this wine, what I can see on the palate is that it's a fairly sort of medium bodied white wine. Mm -hmm. That's good. I would agree. The acid level to me is slightly lower than I'd expect from a, a cooler climate wine. Mm, yeah, so we're getting so the southern hemisphere. Is that correct, Director? Yes! Hooray! Yes. Great <laughs> variety. We're gonna go Chardonnay. Yes! South Africa! No. Australia? No. New Zealand? New Zealand. Yay! Is it the horse drift? Yeah. Yes! Ah. Oh, well, the area of the world right. <laughs> we got the grape right. Yeah. We got the grape right. And I think we got the production method right as well. Yeah. I think that's a success. Hawks Drift. New Zealand Chardonnay. Delicious. Thank you very much for watching today. If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to email us on this email below. I look forward to seeing you next time. Oh, good. That was good, though.